So before going for numerical methods, uh, we need some tools to evaluate the problems. Okay. So that tools are nothing but finite differences. Okay. So you should know what is finite differences. So in this one, first type is forward difference. Okay. Forward difference means uh, we have to take the highest number and we have to take, we have to subtract the lowest part of the number. Okay. So that means if you represent a function f of x and if you mean del s of x means we have to add some difference to that x and you are subtracting previous step. Okay. Suppose if you are taking uh, y not y1 like this y not y1 y2 y3 these are the next level functions. Okay. So what we need to do means difference on y not. So if you represent difference on y not means you have to take the next number next number of that that means y1 okay y1 minus y0 so next number minus previous step okay y1 minus y0 we need to do similarly if you take y2 sorry difference on y1 means next number is what y2 y2 minus y1 you have to take similarly del y2 del y2 is nothing but next number is what y3 minus y2 okay so in this way we'll represent forward difference forward difference means one step ahead you should get and you have to subtract forward step minus backward step okay so like that we have to do and once we find all the differences we will make one difference table okay so these are the x values these are the corresponding y values okay how does this function will be defined means this is variable and these are the values for x suppose y is nothing but f of x okay so these are the x values suppose if you take x not as one this is two three four and so on okay it will continue Suppose if my f of x is nothing but y equal to x square. Okay, suppose if I take y equal to x square, what will be the result for y not? 1 square. 1 square is 1. So 2. 2 means 2 square. It is 4. 3. 3 square. It is 9. 4. It means 16. Okay. So if I want to find the difference on y naught, y naught means next step minus backward step. Okay, so that means y1 minus y y naught. So what is the difference between these two? 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. Next difference is difference on y1. So difference y1 is nothing but next step is what? Next step is y2. So y2 minus y1. So this value will get 9 minus 4, it is 5. So in this way, we will find uh, the difference table. And it will continue. So first difference, uh, there will be like uh, order in differential equations, right? So like that, order in difference also will be there. Okay. So this is about forward difference table we have to take the next number minus previous number okay next in the same way we'll be having backward difference okay in backward difference you will take the same step minus forward step okay previously we have taken forward step minus backward step okay now we are going to do the same thing using backward difference means uh, current step minus forward step. Okay, current step minus forward step. Like the same value, delta y1 means this y1. That means you are starting from y1 and you are subtracting backward. Okay, similarly, y1, y2, the delta y2 means you have to start from y2, y2 minus y1. Okay. So like that, you have to form the different tables on this. 
okay so this is forward step and backward step okay forward step means you have to take the next step minus lower step okay next backward step is nothing but you have to start from current step minus backward step what suppose if you do if you didn't understand means uh forward difference i'll tell you one best example we have three friends okay uh, our three friends means uh, instead of friends i'll take a move y1 y2 is there okay forward difference represents we have to take next step that means y1 y2 minus y1 suppose forward difference will be represented with delta okay delta y1 if you represent means you have to take the next step that means y2 minus y1 okay suppose if you take backward difference so backward difference will be represented like this del okay del okay so if i represent the backward difference of del y1 is equal to we have to take previous step for that okay so y1 that means you have to start from this step minus previous step previous step is y0 so in the table it will be available with y0 okay so y1 minus backward you are do, going here we have taken forward got we have taken forward step and we have taken backward step here fine so while taking example will come to know next we'll go for interpolation formulas okay so when we use interpolation formulas means when any value is missing in this table okay we'll go we'll find suppose if any value is missing in this table like y yn minus 1 is missing so at that time we'll make use of interpolation formula and we'll find so interpolation formula basically we use to find the solution at unknown value okay we'll be knowing x value and corresponding y values also you know and at certain stage you know only x n minus 1 and you won't be knowing y n minus 1 okay at that instant we'll use interpolation formula and we'll find the approximate value of it okay so this is the formula okay let the y equal to f of x is a function x equal to x not plus r h okay r is the difference okay so wait a minute here r value is nothing but we have to find it. okay suppose if you are taking this value okay r value will be how much x minus x not divided by h where h is the difference between these two common difference h is the common difference between the values okay so let us see a problem so that uh, you'll understand this formula these are the formulas you need to remember okay forward difference interpolation and for backward difference interpolation okay forward difference interpolation is nothing but y r okay y r is equal to y not plus r into delta y not that means uh, while drawing the table you will come to know what is y not y1 y3 like that okay so second order derivative next uh, third order difference and fourth order difference and you have to remember only the coefficients so y r equal to you have to start from y not okay this is forward interpolation okay so y not r into delta y not plus r into r minus 1 divided by 2 factorial del square y not like that it will continue okay 
so let us see how to find the solution okay similarly backward also the same thing y r is equal to you have to start from ending onwards y n so y n plus r into del y n plus r into r plus 1 divided by 2 by 2 factorial here r minus 1 is there here r plus 1 is there so like that okay so let us see how to find suppose here i need to find area of the circle corresponding to the diameter d is given below okay so here d represents diameter and a represents area of that circle okay so if i want to find the solution at yes area of that uh, the total area i want for this okay they they have given at different diameters what are the areas i want overall area of the circle so at that time what we need to do is we'll draw the difference table for this okay how to draw the difference table means let me show so wait a minute okay so here first i'll draw here x values here a values here uh, suppose you can take either forward difference or backward difference okay i will take here backward difference sorry here uh, this is incomplete question i will just try the complete question here one minute so the complete question is nothing but wait a minute so we are asked to find the area corresponding to the diameter one not five okay using approximate approximate interpolation form okay so this is the question actually so what he is asking he has given the table up to 100 diameter okay so he is asking about 105 we, we call this as extrapolation that means he is giving the value out of the range okay he has given from 80 to 100 he is asking at 105 okay so when he has given extrapolation that means he is given out of the area that means 105 so he is asking the value at 105 that means here if you write 105 what will be the value here okay that is the question 
we call it as extrapolation if the data he has asked in be, is in between these two values or between the data that is called interpolation now we are going to find extrapolation okay since they have given the highest value and you know the previous data for this we will use backward interpolation okay why because you need to find uh, the value using the previous data okay so you can use interpolation that means interpolation through backward difference okay so let me see how to find the difference here backward difference can be represented with del okay del square next to del cube del power 4 okay these are the order of difference i will write uh, the values x values that means here d values what are d values here 80 is there next here 85 is there next 90 is there here 95 is there okay so i have to write one more row for this i'll enter one more row Then one more row here. Hundred. Okay. So now uh, the values are five zero two six. Five zero two six. Five six seven four. Next six three six two. Next to seven zero eight eight. Next here seven eight five four. Okay. So these are the values for A he has given. Okay. Now using forward difference, how will you do means uh, backward difference? How will you do means write this difference in between these values. Okay. so what is the difference here difference between these two take the highest one minus lowest one how much 5674 minus 5026 6486 next 632 sorry 6362 minus 5674 Six eighty-eight will get. Okay. Next year seven twenty-six. Okay. Next year seven sixty-six is the difference. Next, how will you find the next order? So we have to take these two minus, these two minus, these two minus. Okay. So if you subtract these two, we'll get forty. Next. Thirty-eight. Next to forty. Okay. Find next order difference. That means thirty-eight minus forty. That means minus two. Forty minus thirty-eight plus two. Next to two minus of minus. We'll get plus two minus of minus plus two. We we'll get four. Okay. so until now one number you get you have to continue the difference okay take the difference between consecutive integers that means you have to take the next number minus previous number okay so now how to use backward difference formula is by newtons backward interpolation formula 
so what is it y r y r is equal to here we have to start from highest value y n okay y n plus r into delta y n plus r into r plus 1 divided by 2 factorial delta sorry del square y n okay next plus uh, r into r plus 1 into r plus 2 divided by uh, this is 3 factorial into del square del sorry del cube by n okay so like that it will continue okay r into r plus 1 r plus 2 r plus 3 it will go like that okay suppose if you take this as y1 here sorry so the function is very simple how to understand this means uh, here you need to find y at 105 correct y at 105 you need to find what is y n highest value what is the highest value here 7 8 5 4 Okay, we need to find what is R. Okay, R is nothing but here the unknown value is first we will calculate R. Okay, R is nothing but x minus x n divided by h. Okay, so R is equal to x. X is unknown. What is that unknown? One not five minus x n. X n is hundred. Divided by how much step difference is there between these two? Between these two, five. common difference. Five. How much? Five. So that h value is five here. So this is nothing but how much? One out five minus hundred. Five by five one. So we'll get five by five. That is one. So we have calculated R. Okay. So now y at one not five is equal to what is y n? That means highest value seven eight five four plus R. R means one. What is the difference here? Seven six six, right? So what is the first difference here? Seven sixty six. Seven sixty-six. Okay. Next plus r into r plus one. One into one plus one divided by two factorial. Okay. Into second difference of this is how much? That means you are you are going in backward direction like this. This line you have to follow. Okay, first number nine seven sixty six. Next number forty. Next two. Next four. Until you get four, you have to continue this. Okay, so seven sixty six got. Okay, next to forty plus one into one plus one into one plus two into one plus three. Sir, is this one point seven six six or one into seven six six? This is one into one into. Okay, so otherwise, if you understood this means, you can write directly one into two. Here also, if you understood properly means, you can write one into two into. You have to add one more for that. Three, I'll get. Okay, so one into one plus two. Here one into one plus two. One plus one into one plus two divided by three factorial into forty. That means forty over that is two. 
next plus 1 into 1 plus 1 it is 2 into 1 plus 2 it is 3 into 1 plus 3 it is 4 divided by 4 factorial into last number is 4 so this is some we need to calculate to calculate this area at y equal to 1 out 5 so y at 1 out 5 is equal to how much 7 5 7 8 5 4 plus 7 66 so if you want you can cancel this here 2 2's 7 8 5 4 plus 7 66 plus year 40 plus 3 factorial 3 into 2 so these get cancelled 2 plus 4 factorial 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so the same value you got these l will get cancelled 4 so what is the value if you add all these 8 triple 6 will get 8 triple 6 okay so this method is common for uh, all this table is common for all the methods forward difference or backward difference whether you, you take uh, forward difference formula or backward difference formula table will be same only formula will change backward means plus will come forward means minus will come okay so check with this if you get any doubt, let me know. Sir, how to know that forward or backward, sir? Huh? Forward or backward means based on the data. Ma. See, he has given 105, right? Until 100, you know the data. So, if you want to know uh, one data means uh, the previous data you should know. So, 105 is the unknown. And the previous data we know. So, that means you have to go for backward. Correct. Using the previous data, you are finding. Okay. For example, if you want to find forward, how I how will I ask means? Uh, I'll show one example. Okay. Suppose if I want to find forward. Sir, can you explain that R formula, sir? Huh? Once again. R, R R formula R equal to R means X. So X is unknown value. Okay. Because here X value he has given 105. That's why I have substituted 105 directly. Okay. X minus XN. XN means last data. Okay. Last data is second column last data. 7854. That value you have to take. Okay. Suppose the same thing if you want to find in terms of forward difference. I'll show how to do it. Send what about H? Huh? H is difference. First column difference. How much difference is there? See here. Difference between common difference you have to take. Difference between these two. What is the common difference here? 5. 5, right. In a, each and every step, the difference is common. Okay. So that you should keep it in mind. I'll make use of forward difference table. Here 100 is there. The problem is same, but we are changing the formula and we are doing the same. Okay, so here area and uh, your first value is 5026, 57, sorry, 5674. Next, uh, I think, is it getting time? No, still. Next, 6362. Next. 7088 next 7854 is there. okay even in forward difference table also same values you get okay there is no difference okay so here also you'll get the same difference that means 684 
Sorry, 648. Next here, uh, 688. This table won't change. 726. Next, 766. Next here, 40. 38. 40. Next here, minus 2. And here, 2. Next here, 4. Okay. So, you will get the data as seen because whether it is forward or backward, only in uh, uh, symbols will change it. Okay. So, here, instead of uh, del, we will make use of delta. So, wait a minute. Not to change this. So here instead of del, we are changing to delta. Delta, delta square, delta cube, delta power 4. Okay. So now I will make use of Newton's forward difference table. Okay, Newton forward difference equation. So here, y at this value I need to find, y at 105. Okay, so this is represented by y naught. Y naught. Okay. So you have to start from starting number onwards. Okay. So y naught plus what is the formula for forward difference? R into delta y naught plus r into r minus 1 into r minus 2 divided by 2 factorial sorry r into r minus 1 by 2 factorial del square y naught plus r into r minus 1 into r minus 2 divided by 3 factorial into delta cube y naught plus and so on. Okay. So y first you need to find x value, right? R value. R is nothing but x plus okay. So instead of there minus you have taken here minus you have plus will do. So here x minus first value. What is the first value? 5, 0, 2, 6. Divided by h. What is the difference? 5. Correct. So here when you are taking forward difference, what is the formula is nothing but x minus x naught divided by h. So this is nothing but x minus uh, 5, 0, 2, 6. Here x is nothing but we know. What is that x? Sorry, here uh, 80, sorry, 105 minus first value is 80 divided by 5. Okay, so then 105, 105 minus 80, how much? 25 huh? divided by 5. Which is nothing but 5. <clears throat> Correct or not? So here x minus x naught. In x value, unknown value is 105. Minus x naught. X naught is first value in x. Okay. So 80 divided by 5. So 5 is the common difference. 
25 divided by 5 that is 5 so i have to take 5 <coughs> now make use of forward different interpolation y at 1 or 5 is equal to y not y not means this a values so what is the first y not value that means 5026 5026 plus r that means 5 into what is next value 68648 648 plus 5 into 5 minus 1 that means 4 divided by 2 factorial into next one it is 40 into 40 plus 5 into 4 into 3 divided by 3 factorial into minus 2 plus 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 factorial divided by 4 4 factorial into 4 will get so if you add all this you will get the same result if you want you can check 5026 plus 5 into 648. How much? 5 into 648. 648. Sorry, don't the input uh, value of this thing, sir. Why not? Huh? Input value of why not, sir, in the substitution. Mm -hmm. Why not means? What is why not, sir? Why not means this one. Ma. These values, first value. This is why not, this is y1, this is y2, y3, y4. Function values are called why not. Okay, no, first sir. column. Hmm? In the second term, sir, uh, r into delta yeah. into y not. There R is 5, delta is 648. What is Y not, sir? Uh -huh, this is del square Y not. Del square Y not means this, this difference. First order difference, second order difference, third order difference, and fourth yes, order difference. That I understood, sir. In the second term, sir, that is R into delta into Y not. Second term. There, R is, is equal to 5. Delta into Y naught. It is del Y naught. Okay, uh, okay, okay. Delta okay, Y naught means first order difference. Understood, understood. Delta Y naught means this value. Yes, sir. This value. Okay. Del square Y naught means this value. Del cube Y naught means this value. Del power 4 Y naught means this value. So that means you are going in forward direction like this okay so previously we did in backward direction it is starting from end to towards last value like this okay so backward difference means you will come to front and will find the value in reverse way okay in taking forward difference means you'll move forward from starting onwards okay so if you find this one how much you'll get 648 into 5 can anyone calculate 3240 3000 240 3240 plus uh, here uh, two ones, two twos. Uh, here five twos, 10, 10 into 40, 400. 400. Same plus, answer gets uh, sir. Here, this will go off. Minus will get here. You are getting same. Minus 20. Here plus. 20. 4 factorial means uh, 4 into 3 into 2. So 4, 3, 2. Gone. 20. 
So these to get cancelled. Eight sixty six, ah, huh? eight triple six. Because uh, six plus zero plus zero six two plus four it is six. Mm. Yes, sir. Eight triple six. Yes. Okay. So even if you use forward difference or backward difference, nothing will change. Answer is same. Okay. The approach will be different. That's it. Okay. So just go through this one. This this is an introduction. Tomorrow onwards, so we'll go in a flexible. Uh, flexible way okay so today i didn't draw the tables so tomorrow onwards i'll draw the tables and um, i'll make for you okay <clears throat>